Hi, my name is Chris Porter, and I'm a registered nurse here in Washington State. Many of us continue to be worried about how to continue to protect ourselves against COVID-19, but I want to discuss a few other issues. The use of masks in public space and the use of gloves in public space. One of the masks commonly seen is the KN95. The problem with the use of this mask in public space is that you have to undergo specialized testing that helps form a seal around the face that allows the mask to work as intended. Without that testing, this mask will not work. Men who have mustache or beards, this mask will not work. The other mask more commonly seen is the surgical loop mask. This mask fits by a, a seal over the bridge of the nose and loops behind the ear covering the mouth. This is the most frequently one seen in public. The problem with the use of these masks is that they're taking away critical resources that are needed in hospitals to take care of the most vulnerable and help protect our healthcare workers. The other issue is single-use gloves. These gloves are intended for single use. And if you think about it, some of us may have gloves that we use to wash dishes or gloves that we use to clean the bathroom. I can't imagine that the gloves that you use to clean the bathroom, you would also go and cook dinner. And if you do, mental note, don't invite me for dinner. As you don these gloves, the thing to remember is that they're single use. So most people will put them on before leaving their house to go out to run errands. This flower simulates that once we don these gloves and we begin touching items in our house that we'll inevitably pick up this debris that's common and we will touch our face or body. The pink flower simulates the debris that is out in the community. So if you go to the grocery store or other businesses uh, and, and touch things, inevitably you will um, get this debris on your gloves. And as we all do, we will touch ourselves <clears throat> carrying that debris with us. If you look at what happens um, when you look at the impression of this, we have picked up additional debris. Single-use gloves, again, are intended to be used for that single event, so if you wear them to the grocery store, as you exit the grocery store, you would take off these gloves. And remember to wash your hands. So there are a couple of takeaway messages that I think are important. First, single-use gloves, if you have to use them, are just that single use, and once you remove them, you should wash your hands. These gloves, if you have them, if you have boxes of them, Consider donating them, along with boxes of gloves if you have them. These resources are in critical need to help take care of very sick patients and help protect our health care workers. And again, remember that the use of gloves are not a substitute for washing hands. Washing our hands remains the best tool that we have in preventing infections. And remember to continue to social distance. Thank you.